And I am Belle. We are third graders at State Farm. Over the last few weeks, Mrs. Zuha has been explaining the Ten Commandments story for Faith Friday Facts. Let's tune into the fact, Faith Facts to find out what Mrs. Zuha is going to talk about today. Happy Friday, boys and girls. Well, today we are here once again to talk about our Ten Commandments. And this week we are going to be on the Seventh Commandment already. So let's do a quick review. All right, the first three have to do with God. What are they? Can you name them? I, the Lord, am your God. You shall not have any other gods besides me. God is number one in our lives. Number two. Do not say the Lord your God's name in vain. God's name is special. God's name is holy. Use it appropriately. Number three, remember to keep holy the Sabbath. Sunday is our special day. We go to church and we spend time with our family. All of those have to do with our relationship with God. Now others. Fourth commandment, you shall honor your father and your mother. Remember to listen to your parents and all those who have authority over you. Number five, you shall not kill. And I think Father talked about that in his homily this morning. It means a little bit more than just killing. It also means how do we use our words? How do we treat others? The sixth commandment, you shall not commit adultery. Jesus tells us that marriage is between a man and a woman and that it is forever that we must give ourselves to our spouse, just like Jesus, just like God gives himself completely to us. And the seventh commandment now, here's where we're at today, you shall not steal. Now, just like you shall not kill, sometimes we might think, oh, well, I don't do that at all. I don't go into a store and take things, or I don't go into a bank and rob a bank. But again, there's a little bit more to that. Stealing means taking something that belongs to someone else, and that can mean anything. So let's think about this for a minute. If I am in my class and it's test time, for example, and I look at my neighbor's paper, am I stealing? Yes, I am. I could be stealing his or her answers. Those aren't my answers. Those answers belong to them. So when we cheat, that's like stealing. Or another example, I might be in a grocery store and I might be um, going down the aisle and all of a sudden I look down and I find a $20 bill. Now, probably the right thing to do would be to turn that $20 bill in to someone at the checkout because someone later might come back knowing that they accidentally dropped that. So think about what belongs to others, and we never want to take that away from anyone else. The seventh commandment, you shall not steal. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for the great information, Mrs. Zuha. Yesterday, Riker and Steven told us about our Grace for Education Day. Please look for this packet coming home today. The yellow sheet will tell you exactly what you need to do to help our school earn cool prizes. Let's take a look at some of the prizes you can earn. Students can earn a free treasure card or a dress down day pass for every five names that are submitted. For every 15 names that are submitted, a student will have their name entered into a drawing for the grand prize. Finally, each class that has 100% of the students return their label sheet with at least five names will earn a popcorn and movie party. Wow, those prizes sure sound amazing. Remember to return your label by Monday, March 8th. Let's see what is for lunch on Monday. Lunch, lunch on Monday will be meatball slab, green beans, and fruit. 
Remember, you can bring your own lunch or eat the school lunch. Our weather looks like it will be warming up on Monday. It is expected to be 54 degrees. It's really wet on our playground, so don't forget to bring your boots. Also, make sure to bring your water bottle filled and wear your mask every day. Yesterday, Riker and Steven told you a riddle. Mrs. Hamlin has collected all of the answers, so let's tune in to find out what the answer is. Thanks, girls. Okay, guys, so let's take a look in our riddle box. We had a lot of people answer today. This one I heard from the kiddos was much easier than last week's. And here we go. I think almost every single person in here got it right. Huh. The outside says, pick me. Well, I did. And the correct answer, and Julia in fifth grade got it, it is elephant. An elephant was the correct answer. And we had lots of elephants. I like to see how we spell elephant. Sometimes that's fun. You're right. An elephant is said to never forget. And an elephant is way too big to be a pet. Even though I am sure if my Sophia could have an elephant, she would. All right, back to you girls. I wish I could have an elephant as a pet. Me too. Good job to everyone who answered it correctly. Please stand and pray to St. Michael for <laughs>
Thank you.